Today, I'm going to explain a movie called Milena, release on 2000. The movie entails the love and affection a young Renato Amoroso, fell for a woman Milena Scordia popularly known as Milena, who was twice his own age. It was the day Mussolini declared war on France and Great Britain and the same day he got his bicycle. Feeling elated, Renato pedaled to meet his friends just to show off his bicycle, since that was what qualifies him to be in their group. Suddenly, they all ran back to watch a beautiful lady as she walked past them. The boy became mesmerized, because of her beauty, including Renato, who seemed to be the most infatuated of all of them. After a while, they followed her again to watch her until she got towards the entrance of the town. As she left, Renato asked for the lady's name Elena and the boys called her a widow. Even at school, he found it hard to concentrate and at home he found it hard to sleep sometimes. After Renato's friends made fun of Milena as they measured their manhood, it almost turned into a fight as Renato defended Milena's integrity. The next day, Renato skipped school only to be at Milena's home watching her from afar. He even though of Milena calling him to buy cigarettes for her and later showing her leg to him. Afterwards, Renato goes to his father's Tyler and requests for long pants. Although ideally, long pants were supposed to be worn by men and not boys. The tailor denies his request, but Renato convinced the old man. His father knew about him getting longer pants. When Renato's father comes back from work, he beats Renato for skipping school and getting longer pants. Renato argues his father doesn't understand and threatens to report his father. For one of the things, his father wouldn't let him to do. So, the man agreed spared him. Later at night, Renato sneaks out through the window and goes over to Milena's home. He climbs a tree and peeps through her window. He sees Milena's lying on her couch and a family photo of Milena and her husband after their marriage. The next morning, Renato overhears several men talking about Milena in a barber shop. From their conversation, he understood Milena's husband Nino Scordia married her from a neighboring village and brought her over. A month after, Nino was called to a war, and he died during battle. They also said Milena would have several male partners sleeping with her. Later again, Renato spies on Milena who sat quietly on a chair holding a paper to her chest, while he used his telescope. He visits her again at midnight, this time she was dancing to a song, while holding on her husband photo. Renato decided to buy the song Milena Dance too. The next day, he also tries to write a letter to Milena about the town's gossips, but he's too timid to do so. Later, Renato and his friends follows Milena on their bicycle like they always do at the town's entrance. Renato follows other routes as fast as he could into the town, so he could see Milena. When he sees her, he become the center of attraction to every person waking around, both men and women looked at her with disgust and jealousy. Renato follows Milena, to find out where she was headed. He also found out the apartment she went into. Sometime later, when he worked on his bicycle, he sees Milena again. He quickly follows her on his bicycle while he overheard how women talk bad about Milena. They thought she was off to see a man, but after Renato follows her to the same house she stopped by yesterday, he climbed a gate and saw it was her father she was visiting discreetly without people's knowledge. During his sport hours, news of Milena's husband dying in war, spread across the school. It wasn't long before the army decided to tribute to Milena's husband, but Milena herself wasn't present at the tribute. Renato leaves the crowd to search for Milena, he sees Milena in her father's house and begins to imagine things, like himself kissing her and consoling her. Sometime after, Renato spits into the drink of a man talking bad about Milena to his friends. He also goes to urinate inside the purse of another lady talking bad of Milena. Later he goes to church and asks a statue for protection over Milena from the town. Renato sees Milena come out of a small house, though the men seemed nice as they sent their condolence. After Milena was far gone, they only talked and lust to each other. Renato saw this and threw a stone into their window, before speeding away after. Renato goes to Milena's house and secretly watches her, when she goes inside, he jumps over her fence and steals his underwear. Later at night, he plays with Milena's cloth and sleeps with it over his head. Immediately, all the other men came running to her with a lighter. Renato plays with himself and makes his father troubled at night. As time goes on, Milena is seen going out with Germans. 
Renato sees them inside his barber shop and begins to imagine the things those Germans will do to her in bed, because of this he faints. Renato's mother takes him to see a priest who tells her the boy is possessed by the devil. Although the husband doesn't believe in this. Renato's mother even brings someone who cast away evil spirits to their house, but her husband doesn't believe his son is sick. He thinks Renato is a growing boy and he need to sleep with a woman. Because of this, Pedro takes his son to a place where he would be taken to bed by woman. Sometime after, the US Army allied with the country returns to Italy. Everyone is happy and celebrating as they welcome the soldiers back on their van. It was at that moment, two women in particular instigated the conflict between other women and the rest. A majority of the women ganged up against Milena and beat her to near death. The men couldn't interfere because they thought it was a woman matter, so only woman could fix it. Renato watched as his beloved Milena was beaten to a very bad state and had to bet her way out of the crowd. Not too long after, Milena dresses up in black in such a way to conceal her identity. She goes in with the remaining people to leave the town. Renato watches as Milena slowly drifts away inside the train with a heavy heart. One could say he was the only person who knew what she went through from the entire town. Even though he was not still able to utter a single word to her and he watched as his co-called true love slipped away. As time went on, the people finally forgot about Milena until a man very familiar came into the city. Some people recognized his face. They even gossiped it was Nino, Milena's supposedly late husband. The man journeyed further into town, heading straight for his family house, but refuges already occupied it. When he asked where Milena was, they denied knowing her and said nobody was living in the house at the time they came in. Nino goes to report to United States Army about his missing wife. telling them he never died instead he was taken to india and lost his arm after having a serious malaria attack when he comes out he meets with a group of men and asks them about his wife but they mock his wife nino retaliates by telling them people like himself wasn't supposed to fight war for people like them one of the men got angered and immediately slaps nino to the ground and before laughing away with the remaining man renato rushes in to help nino up he tries to tell him about malena but he doesn't have enough courage instead when nino is in him home which was occupied by different people he gets a letter from an anonymous person telling him how faithful his wife was and the train destination she entered before he came nino waits no time as he enters a train that night to the same place as mentioned in the letter after many months the town is back to normal without the presence of melena people continuing their daily routines unexpectedly Everyone's gaze landed on something. Renato was also surprised to see it was Milena and her husband Nino. They both slowly walked past the entire crowd who stuck their eyes at them. A young lady holding hands with Renato asked him who she was, but Renato told her it was nothing to be concerned about. Days later, Milena goes to the market. She still scorned and gossiped in silence behind her back. Two of the women who encouraged other women to beat her up were also present in the market. They talked bad about her, but when Milena came close to them, they greeted her. As kind-hearted as Milena was, she replied to their greeting with a thank you and several other women from around offered Milena different items of whatever they sold. Some even gave her things without collecting payment. Renato follows Milena back from the market. He watches from a close distance as he walked. All of a sudden, her oranges fell from the bag. Renato rushes to help her put them back into the bag. After he's done helping her, she thanks him and continues with her journey. Renato stops and wishes him good luck. Milena nods in approval and continues walking. Renato gets back on his bicycle, tells himself how all the other girls he has loved will nothing compared to the love he had from Milena, and she will continue to stay deep within his heart. Thanks for watching.